Oh boy, do we have a jam-packed episode today. Welcome to another episode of Rule of Thumb. We are going to take care of a toilet that has low flush power, and we're going to add a drinking water filter to your kitchen sink. And I actually used a stick from a tree to do a daily tip today. And here's a quick visual update on that fly trap. Happy Monday. Let's get after it. I have a few different chemicals I like to use to break down the calcium buildup on these toilets. Dump that chemical in the fill tube of the toilet. Now just let it sit and soak for five minutes. There's tiny little holes under the rim of the toilet that rinse the bowl when flushed. If those small little holes build up with calcium, then you lose pressure. So with that being said, this should also go on your list for preventative maintenance. Sure, toilets are gross, disgusting, and they stink, but they do need to be maintained and talked about. Now let's discuss a way to fix a sloppy door hinge. I'm sure you've all heard the way of just taking a golf tee and sticking it in there and breaking it off and using that. But I absolutely suck at golf, and I don't want to carry a tee to remind me of that. So I just go outside and find a stick and jam that in there, then put the screw in, and it's tight as ever. Just like always, let me know if you need anything further explained. For example, I will be doing a dryer vent cleaning video soon. But for now, let's install a drinking water filter system for your kitchen faucet. It. This one comes with all the parts that you'll need. It's almost as easy as a plug and play and a lot of people didn't know they existed. If you're interested in buying something like this, I have it saved on my Amazon for easy finding. In fact, I have a lot of things saved on my Amazon account. You should go over and check it out. Today, I'm also going to introduce a little tease for tomorrow. Cleaning glass top stoves is kind of a pain, but I can make it easy for you.